I'm Mike Bennett, trumpet player with the Texas Playboys, and you're watching Robert Houston's Western Swing Rules. Hi, I'm Mike Bennett, trumpet player. I'm Steve Ham. They call me Hambone. We play with the Bob Wills Texas Playboys. That's right. We're known as the Tulsa Horn Boys. Barbara Martin named us that. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. That's right. A lot of folks that don't know a lot about Western Swing, uh, they think it's country. They use the term interchangeably, and uh, that's not correct. It's the farthest thing from the truth. Uh, Western Swing is has the elements of big band swing, Dixieland, blues, a lot of different styles of music. And uh, Steve and I also play together in his Dixieland band, the Jambalaya Jazz Band. And there's a tune that was done by Bob and a lot of the Western Swing artists called Rosetta that all the jazzers played also. It was written by piano player Earl Hines, who uh, Louis Armstrong played in Earl Hines' big band. And we'd like to show you just the jazz influence of how we would play that tune, whether we were playing on a Dixieland band or here with the uh, Texas Playboys. We'll probably play that tonight, in fact, in the performance. Play it the same way, don't you? You want to do it the same, do it same way in key of F. All right. One, two, a one, two. That particular style would really be um, influenced by Dixieland and uh, kind of the smearing of the notes and the vibrato like Louis Armstrong used. And Steve doing the slide. It's, it's a parallel of what we do on a Dixieland band on that particular song and there's not a thing country about it. So it's a uh, it's why it's called Western Swing. It swings. And uh, I don't know what, what you want to talk about on that. I think you yeah. covered that. Yeah. It's, you know, as he said, we'd play it the same way in uh, Louis Armstrong's band as we would in Bob Will's band. Exactly. And, you know, and Bob used to listen to a lot of uh, different type of music. The stories go on when he was riding the bus and they pick up the radio stations throughout the United States. And one of his favorite uh, artist to listen to was Bessie Smith singing blues, but he also loved big band like Woody Herman and Count Basie and loved all that. And you can hear that in, in Bob's music. Uh, tune we did last night was Woodchopper's Ball by Woody Herman. You want to do a little bit of that? Just, sure. the, just the way we do? Key of C? One, two, one, two, three. That's a Woody Herman hit. Okay, so I noticed that you guys did a lot of ascending and descending lines opposite of each other. Can you talk a little bit about that? Is that is that something that you consciously do? Is that something that you that you just learned over the period of time? I mean, is that am I correct? First of all, in saying sometimes that? sometimes we'll play ascending lines and descending at the same time, uh, or we'll play kind of parallel if we're both ascending at the same time and. I usually play lead and he plays harmony. He's got a better ear for harmony than I ever did. And, uh, <clears throat> so, well, and then there's just two of us playing, which I really like because that allows me freedom to do, I do different things when we're uh, playing because he's always played lead, the lead part, and I've always played second to him, which I, I mean, I was, I was always loved to do that, but, um, 
I and I think sometimes sometimes I play weird stuff because I'm trying to do something different, but uh, it's pretty much like the big bands. It is, and a lot of us we've been playing together so long. We've been playing together since about 1976 when we were in school together at University of Tulsa School of Music, and uh, I'm trying to think, I started playing with Johnny Lee. Johnny Lee Wills. Johnny Lee Wills, and after I was playing at the Caravan Ballroom, that would be about 1977 or 78. That was my introduction to Western Swing, and then you started playing when uh, you sat in with Casey's band, right? I started playing with you guys at the Caravan. I'd come out and sit in. That's right, that's right. And Gene Crownover and different people were on that band. They got us on that band, and of course, Eldon Shamblin and Bob Kaiser, Amos Hedrick Sr., Curly Lewis, all the famous ones. Billy Dozier. Billy Dozier. It was ben, Bennett got me on the bands. Bennett uh, said, hey, I got a friend that plays trombone. And nobody else wanted to really play in those bands in those days. In fact, guys made fun of us. The jazzers made fun of us until they actually figured out what we were doing. And then they went, wow. Yep. We're playing in all those different keys. And uh, Glenn Reese. Well, the other thing that was, was nice is during jazz band at the school, University of Tulsa, I remember the guys that were playing up in the rodeo used to be Bob Wills Rodeo, and then it became Johnny Lee Wills Rodeo in Tulsa, and uh -huh. the Stampede, right? And these guys are up in the up in the bleachers up there for the rodeo, and they were hired by the union. They were playing all those gallops for the horses and just busting their chops, <laughs> and work, working their butts off, you know? And we see them the next day in jazz band, and <clears throat> they started making fun of me for that. And, and I said, well, boys, I came out on the back of a flatbed truck with Johnny Lee Wills and his band because I've learned to play Western Swing, and I know these tunes, and... Let me see, I made about $200 last night, opened my bill full. I said, how much did you make for working your butt off playing those marches and gallops? I made about 50 bucks. So they had a new respect for Western Swing as of that moment. 